what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel guys in today's video we are going to be talking about something a little bit different as you can see from the title now obviously we don't talk about crypto much at all on this channel anymore because if you don't already know i started a completely separate channel dedicated entirely to crypto where i post multiple times a week talking about everything related to cryptocurrency but this video is so important that i really wanted to share it on my main channel because i absolutely could not let you guys go uninformed and obviously i have a lot more subscribers on this channel so guys as you can see from the title of today's video we are talking about xrp which is personally my largest investment and has been one of my best investments if not the best investment over the last three years but guys it is just getting started in fact xrp has not even got started yet to where the potential could be not only this bull cycle but for multiple bull cycles to come and i still believe even if you get in at this point it could be one of the best investments of your entire life obviously none of this is financial advice just purely my opinion but i'm going to break down all the facts for you guys show you the potential of xrp show you the potential price targets for xrp and then you guys can determine for yourself if you think this is a good investment for you or not i definitely want to hear from you down in the comments below now with that said guys make sure and subscribe to the channel turn on those notifications so you never miss an important video like this one and let's get right into the video so because of course we have to start with the entire crypto market here as we can see if you guys are not aware if you're not invested into cryptocurrency it could be time crypto obviously has its down days i mean a big red days a big red months a big red years but when it is green it is absolutely green and crypto in general could bring you some of the best returns you've ever seen in your entire life beyond anything the stock market could do but nevertheless as you can see the global crypto market cap is up to almost two trillion dollars and every single coin is flying high however there's one coin one main coin here that is in the lead and that is xrp up 52 percent in the last seven days and the next closest one is cardano here or ADA which is close up about 50% in the last seven days now most people on YouTube talking about crypto they just haven't been in this space for a while they just heard about it this year and now all of a sudden they're making videos on it I've been in cryptocurrency since 2017 I made my first investment into XRP and I've been hodling holding on for dear life ever since then a first buy was in somewhere around 17 cents and if I can tell you anything about XRP over these last several years that is a two things one XRP always pumps last and it pumps fast so that means after every other coin has had its bull cycle xrp comes in last and it pumps extremely extremely hard xrp has some other very very special qualities about it that we're going to talk about in this video that could possibly bring it the best return out of any one of these coins and even break away from bitcoin if you guys do not already know bitcoin controls the entire crypto market right now when bitcoin is up so is the rest of the market if bitcoin would have a 20 percent drop right now you can believe the rest of crypto would follow along right with that However, there is a possibility XRP is the one that breaks away from Bitcoin because of its extreme utility use, which we're going to talk about later in today's video. But moving on here, let's talk about why the entire crypto market could go up by double, triple, even quadruple towards the end of this year. And we can determine this by basically comparing it to previous bull runs. So this is the stock to flow model right here. And as we can see, every four years, there is a massive rally in crypto. That is because the Bitcoin supply gets cut in half, which drives up Bitcoin, which drives drives the rest of the crypto market along with it as we can see one of the first ish bull runs that people know of at least was in 2013 2014 as you can see we spiked all the way up way past this stock to flow line to about right here and that one thousand dollar bitcoin price then we came back down for a three-year bear market then we pumped all the way back up in 2017 and this was the first bull run that i was a part of as you can see, once again, we pumped all the way past this stock to flow line to about that 20 ish thousand dollar Bitcoin. Then we had a three year bear market all the way until 2020 when the when the last Bitcoin halving came. As you can see, we spiked all the way up. But then we had a drop. We had a drop all the way for the last couple of months here. Crypto has been going down. But remember, guys, this happens. As you can see, it happened right here. It happened in 2013 as well. This happens. Many people, including myself, do believe that this is going to follow the same previous lines as the other bull runs, meaning that the Bitcoin price has to shoot all the way up to here, this bull run, which would be well over a $100,000 Bitcoin before this bull run is over. Also, statistically speaking, this always happens towards the end of the year. Bitcoin usually hits its all-time high around November, December, and then the altcoins come around in January, hitting its all-time high. So with that said, guys, right now, all the way until the end of the year, possibly beginning of 2022, 
could be a massive rally in crypto if it follows any previous bull runs. But the real question is, what coin should you invest in? And I think pretty much any coin, especially in the top 10, could produce you absolutely insane returns. But there's one coin, in my opinion, that could absolutely maximize your returns right now, and that is XRP. Now, let's go into briefly what XRP is, and then I'll tell you why I think it is so valuable. So first off, XRP and Ripple. Ripple is the company behind XRP. So Ripple is a company that's actually planning to go public. They have lots of different financial networks, and then they actually have the coin or the crypto, which is XRP. So basically, RippleNet, which is part of Ripple, offers connections to hundreds of financial institutions around the world via a single API and makes you move money faster, cheaper, and more reliable for you and your customers. Basically, to send global payments across borders. Right now, I won't get into it, but the system is slow and extremely expensive. Ripple can send money across borders in seconds with virtually zero fee, and that is because of their on-demand liquidity system which uses xrp xrp is the one actually being sent across borders and this transaction volume you can believe when they're sending trillions and billions of dollars across borders it needs to be very very high therefore the price of xrp and the total market cap of xrp needs to be very high so they can make these payments across borders also one other thing about xrp is their staff they have an absolutely stacked board of directors ceo i mean just look at some of these names uh brad Gar House here is the CEO of Ripple. He was the vice president at or the senior vice president at Yahoo from 2003 to 2009. Basically brought it off the ground. We have many other big names as well. And then their board of directors is something else to speak of as well. Especially Rosie Rios here, who has 30 years of unparalleled experience and, exper and expertise in public policy and investment management. She was actually the 43rd treasurer of the United States and her signature is on those $100 bills and $20 bills I believe that are probably in your pocket. But this isn't all. This is just the tip of the iceberg. They have higher ups from the IMF. They have higher ups from the SEC. Treasury, as you can see here, a massive Fortune 100 companies. Ripple has over 500 employees and their board of directors is absolutely stacked with some of the biggest names in the world. Now ask, your, now ask yourself a question. Why on earth would these people be on the board of Ripple if they didn't think it would have success? Why would the 43rd Treasury of the United States move to the Ripple board? Well, she said it herself. She said because this is one of, if not the only cryptocurrency currency that has a real world utility use. And that is why she is there. Now, right now, obviously, there's really only one thing in the way affecting uh, XRP's price without absolutely ripping up to five and ten dollars per coin and that is the lawsuit that they're currently in so I won't go into this too depth but ripple is in a lawsuit with the SEC which is obviously affecting the price of XRP now the discovery deadline for this lawsuit does end here August 31st they can either come to an agreement and possibly have a settlement or they could go the distance which could take us all the way to the end of this year possibly even into early next year two important things to note though one Everybody will pretty much tell you that Ripple is currently winning this case. The SEC pretty much has nothing on them. The judge is taking Ripple's side for almost everything. However, still a fair warning that it is up in the air currently. Number two, though, probably even more importantly, is investors really do not care. XRP is up over 50% in the last seven days, and that is during this lawsuit. They've been in this lawsuit for months, and guess what? Ripple continues to make more and more partners every single week, every single month. It is absolutely insane. So, this lawsuit really isn't affecting anyone. It's not affecting what Ripple's agenda and what they are doing, and it isn't affecting investors either as obviously they keep buying up more and more of XRP. And if I can describe this lawsuit in one video, it is this right here. And this is all about why isn't Ethereum considered a security? Because the SEC is saying that XRP is a security, so they're like, why isn't Ethereum considered a security? And this is basically Gary Gensler, who's the head of the SEC here, saying that anyone who has an ICO or an initial coin offering is considered a security. And then it flashes to the creator of Ethereum who says, yeah, look, we're going to sell some Ethereum, sell some, raise some money. Bingo, that's an ICO right there. Make sure and go check out this video. I don't want to get demonetized, so I won't play it. But it is very, very interesting. Why on earth is Ripple there getting called a security when they didn't technically have an ICO whatsoever, yet one of the only things that makes you considered a security in crypto is if you have an initial coin offering. And Ethereum literally had an initial coin offering, admitted, seen multiple places. It is the most obvious thing ever. Very, very curious. The question is, Gary Gensler, answer this. Why is Ethereum not considered a security or is it no one will really tell us 
Anyways, though, let's move on from this rant. Let's talk about some technical analysis to price targets, and then we'll end it with how XRP could possibly break away from Bitcoin and just go on its own tangent to new all-time highs and just get higher and higher and higher, no matter what the price of Bitcoin does. So first off here, some XRP technical analysis. The main growth target is at $3.02. Ever since it broke that $1 mark, the next target is $3.02. But that is the short term here. Don't get me wrong, $3.02 would be awesome it would be a new high for this bull run it would be pretty much a triple from where xrp sits right now but however for the long term this is not even close to the ultimate price target for xrp this bull cycle alone could be way even higher this is one analyst right here he says he is actually the one that called xrp to correct to 37 cents to 64 cents when it was at a dollar and 29 just a few months ago when nobody believed him whatsoever now he is saying there is a bullish reversal here and he sees 14 dollars this bull cycle i've heard price targets anywhere from 14 dollars all the way up to 33 dollars per xrp which obviously would be insane for this bull cycle however if you ask me my personal price targets i'm hoping for a five to ten dollar xrp and that is this bull cycle but it is really contingent on if ripple wins this lawsuit if they don't win this lawsuit obviously the price of xrp is going to go down if it's still continuing at the end of this bull cycle i think we'll still continue to go up but not extremely fast at least nothing like we would if ripple would win this lawsuit if ripple wins in the next couple months while we are in this bull cycle you can believe we will see a five to ten dollar xrp which would be absolutely awesome Awesome for this bull cycle and would officially be new all-time highs in the long term though and why i say this could be one of the best investments of your entire life and i'm not talking about tomorrow i'm not talking about a month from now i'm talking about in years from now is because of this it says xrp's price could keep on surging after decoupling from bitcoin and other major cryptocurrencies if there's an uptick in the number of unique addresses interacting with the network daily or if the number of new addresses being created surges and so let's talk about this so like i said right now the entire crypto market revolves around, around one thing and that is pretty much bitcoin yes we do have an altcoin season but usually during altcoin season bitcoin slowly goes up or stays the same as well every time bitcoin crashes though that is when the rest of the market crashes however really no other coin has this possibility but xrp does have the possibility of breaking away from bitcoin and that is because of its utility use and ripple has partners around the world 500 employees working on this absolutely stacked leadership team the team they are working working on global cross-border payments using XRP as that on-demand liquidity system. You can believe once this actually gets put into use, which it is on small scales, but once it is on mass scales and they're using XRP to transfer money across borders, the price of XRP is going to absolutely surge and that's going to break it away from Bitcoin. It's not going to matter what Bitcoin does. XRP is going to be doing its own thing because it's actually being used and has real world utility use, which is one thing that almost any other coin just really does doesn't have. And if your question is, why can't some other coin just replicate it? It's not just the potential that XRP has because of how fast the coin is. It's the infrastructure that the team of leaders has already built out. Partnerships worldwide, major banks, Bank of America, PNC, SBI, corridors opened all around the world. I mean, the system is built out. They're just waiting to flip that switch to get the money flowing into actually being into actually use this. And what I like about it as well is they're not trying to get rid of the banks. They're trying to work with the banks which makes this a lot more feasible in the short term and that is why the price target for xrp in 2025 and 2030 is absolutely unlimited especially as the crypto market continues to grow we could see a 500 dollars a thousand dollar even a ten thousand dollar xrp someday five at ten even 20 years from now obviously that is the long term this bull cycle we're open for that five to ten dollars if we can see a break out of this lawsuit and a victory for Ripple. Anyways, though, guys, that is all I have for today's video. Like I said, in the short term and the long term, this could be one of the best investments of your entire life. However, this is strictly my opinion, and there's a ton of stuff that could go wrong here. If crypto gets destroyed by new regulation, you can believe the entire market is going down. If Ripple loses this lawsuit, you can believe XRP is going to take a hit along with the entire crypto market. So many, many things to also be concerned of. That is just the beauty of crypto. So always make sure and do your own research first before investing into anything anyways though guys that is all i have for you today let me know your thoughts down below on xrp and what is your favorite cryptocurrency also go give me a subscribe on my crypto channel so you guys can hear me rant about crypto multiple times a week on different topics in the crypto world thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate all of you and as always i will see you in tomorrow's video